Hi guys, welcome to another video. In case you're new, I'm Iris and I make videos about fashion travel and jewelry, but mainly designer handbags. So if you love any of these subjects, please consider subscribing and let's get to the video. On today's video, I will be making a two year update review on my Alma BB. So if this is something you're interested in watching, Please keep watching and let's get to okay, it. Okay, so first of all, here's the bag, the little beauty Alma BB. And I purchased this bag back in 2020 during pandemic, during a family vacation. And I was really looking for a designer handbag because I had sold a Gucci bag and I wanted to replace it with a bag in the Demir event print. So I was really debating between this one and the Speedy 25. So I went to the Louis Vuitton store in the, I don't remember the name of the mall, but it's the San Diego mall. And I went to try on both. And I decided to go with this one just because, come on, it is a classy, beautiful bag. And let's do a little story behind this bag before we start. So this bag right here, the Alma, was created in 1934 by Gaston Louis Vuitton. And this was the second creation after the Speedy bag. Since then, it has become one of the most iconic and classic styles from the fashion. Now let's do a little overview on this beauty right here. So this is the Alma BB in the Demir event coated canvas. And it also has the smooth cow white leather in the handles and right here at the bottom, the base of the bag. And the measurements are 9.3 length, 6.9 height, and 4.5 inches width. It comes with a padlock the gold padlock right here. And it also comes with a key bell where you have your keys. And let's get to the interior, which I love. It's really beautiful. And the interior is red, as we all know. It has a flat pocket right here, and that's the only pocket that we have. And the bag has four protective metal studs we have four feet and the strop drop is 22 inches. This is the length of the strap and this is not adjustable, which is really bad. And it has a double handle right here, the cute double handle. Now let's get to my two year update. And let me show you guys, cause this bag has barely no signs of wear in two years. And I can tell you I've used it quite enough to give you a two year review. So pretty much this bag is in pristine condition, but it does show a little bit of signs which are very minimal. And I wanna show them to you, and especially right here in the feet, as you can see, they're tarnishing, or I don't know if they're tarnishing or is like the effect of when you put the bag, like when you sit it down. And what else? We also have a little bit of scratching right here where the leather is, which is very minimal, not bad. And let me show you, cause I saw a little scratch, but I have to like look for it. It's right here. So I have that little scratch right there. And we also have a little bit of wrinkles here at the handles. And let me show you, but I think that's pretty normal in these kind of bags because you usually wear them like this a lot. So the leather will tend to wrinkle and yeah, so this is pretty much the only signs of wear. Uh, the, the little lock right here, you know, has been here hanging in my bag and it's not tarnishing whatsoever. Uh, there's a little bit of scratching right here in the hardware of the bag, but nothing major. Once again, this bag has been holding up pretty well 
and I love that. Also the interior, let's see the interior, you guys. I think the interior is a little bit stained, like lightly, lightly stained, not too much, just because I am very careful with my bags. So I think this bag overall is amazing, has been doing great. I used to own this one in the classic monogram and that bag was doing horrible. It was showing a lot of signs of wear just because of the bachetta. So when I sold that bag, I decided to purchase this one. And I can tell you guys, this has been the best decision ever. Now let me show you how I mostly wear this bag. And my favorite first way to wear this bag is of course in my crook of my arm. And this is how the bag looks. And I love to wear it like this if I'm gonna go out to dinner or just gonna go out. I think it looks pretty classy, very elegant. And yeah, I tend to hold it like this sometimes as well, but I don't like to hold it up like this very much just because you know our hands tend to sweat and I think that contributes to the wrinkles in the handles so I try to avoid doing that you guys but yeah this is absolutely the classiest way to wear it and I I, my it. second favorite way to wear it is of course as a crossbody and as you can see it falls a little low on my hip and I'm 5'2 for reference, like barely 5'2 or like a quarter less than 5'2. I'm very petite. So this is how the bag hits against my body. I do like how it falls. And you know, this is a bag that looks pretty classy in any way. If you wear it in the crook of your arm, if you wear it as a crossbody, you can also change the strap. You can put a gold chain or anything that you prefer. I personally love to wear it with this one. Even though it falls a little, you know, a little long, I still like it. And I don't think it looks bad. So. Is this bag worth it? Totally, yes. I totally recommend this bag just because this bag it's timeless, classic. This is not a trend. It will never go out of style. It'll be around for the next 100 years or so. And it is just an amazing piece, you guys, that can really last you a lifetime if you take care of it well. You can pass it to your daughter. To I don't know if you can pass it to your granddaughter, but for sure you can pass it to your daughter if you can take care of this properly because you know even though it doesn't have a cheddar you have to be kind to your bags and yeah i think this bag is absolutely worth every dollar i spend it when i purchased this bag it was one thousand four hundred and fifty dollars and i believe now it's one thousand seven hundred and ninety i believe please don't quote me on that but it is way more expensive right now, so I'm very glad I got it when I got it. And what can I say? I totally recommend you add this piece to your collection. And it's a great start if you want to start a collection or if you already have one. Anyways, guys, I'm just going to finish up right here because as you can see, in a blink of an eye, it's turning dark. And thank you so very much. Please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think about the Alma BB. Okay. I would love to hear back from you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.